cardiovascular diseases, heart attacks types, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, prevention, and conclusion. Cardiovascular diseases, CVDs, are a group of disorders affecting the heart and blood vessels. They are the leading cause of death globally, according to the World Health Organization, WHO, taking an estimated 17.9 million lives each year. Types There are several different types of CVDs, but they all share a common theme, damage to the heart and blood vessels. Here are some of the most common types. Coronary heart disease, CHD This is the most common type of CVD. It is caused by a buildup of plaque in the arteries that supply blood to the heart. CHD can lead to chest pain, angina, heart attack, and heart failure. Cerebrovascular disease, this is a general term for stroke and other conditions that affect the blood vessels that supply blood to the brain. Stroke occurs when a blood clot blocks a blood vessel in the brain or when a blood vessel in the brain bursts. Stroke can cause lasting damage to the brain and can lead to paralysis, speech problems, and difficulty thinking. Peripheral arterial disease, PAD This condition causes narrowing of the arteries in the legs and feet. PAD can cause pain, cramping, and numbness in the legs. In severe cases, PAD can lead to amputation. Rheumatic heart disease, this condition is caused by rheumatic fever, which is a complication of a strep throat infection. Rheumatic fever can damage the heart valves, which can lead to heart failure. Aortic aneurysm, this is a weakening of the wall of the aorta, the largest artery in the body. Aortic aneurysm can be life-threatening if it ruptures. Causes The damage to the heart and blood vessels in CVDs can be caused by a variety of factors, including Unhealthy diet a diet that is high in unhealthy fats, sodium, and sugar can increase your risk of CVD. Physical inactivity, lack of exercise can weaken your heart and blood vessels. Tobacco use, smoking damages the lining of your blood vessels and increases your risk of blood clots. Excessive alcohol use, alcohol can raise blood pressure and damage your heart muscle. High blood pressure, hypertension over time, High blood pressure can damage your heart and blood vessels. High blood cholesterol, high levels of cholesterol can build up in your arteries and form plaque, which narrows the arteries and increases your risk of heart attack and stroke. Diabetes, diabetes can damage your blood vessels and nerves, which can increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, and other CVDs. Obesity, obesity is a major risk factor for CVD. It can increase your blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and risk of diabetes. Family history, having a family history of CVD increases your risk. Symptoms CVDs can be sneaky sometimes, with some conditions showing no symptoms at all until a serious event occurs. However, there are general warning signs to be aware of. Here are some of the most common symptoms of CVDs. Chest pain or pressure this can be a classic sign of angina, which is chest discomfort caused by narrowed arteries. It can feel like tightness, squeezing, or pressure in the chest and may radiate to the arms, jaw, shoulder, or back. Shortness of breath, this can occur with exertion or even at rest and can be a sign of heart failure or narrowed arteries. Palpitations, feeling like your heart is racing, fluttering, or skipping beats can be caused by arrhythmias, irregular heartbeats. Lightheadedness or dizziness, this can be a sign of decreased blood flow to the brain and could indicate various CVDs. Pain or numbness in legs, this can be a symptom of peripheral arterial disease, PAD, where arteries in the legs are narrowed. Fatigue and weakness, these can be general signs of CVD or complications from it. It's important to note that not everyone will experience these symptoms, and some may have fewer common ones. If you experience any of these, especially chest pain, shortness of breath, or sudden dizziness, seek immediate medical attention. Diagnosis Early detection of CVDs is crucial for effective treatment and preventing complications. Here are some common diagnostic tools used for CVDs. Blood tests, these assess cholesterol levels, blood sugar levels, 
and other markers that indicate risk factors for CVDs. Electrocardiogram, ECG This painless test measures the electrical activity of the heart to detect abnormal rhythms or damage. Chest X-ray, this imaging test can reveal abnormalities in the heart size and lungs, potentially indicating heart failure. Echocardiogram, echo this ultrasound imaging technique creates a detailed picture of the heart, allowing doctors to assess valve function, heart wall movement, and blood flow. Stress test, this test evaluates how your heart responds to physical exertion and can help identify areas with reduced blood flow. Coronary angiography, this X-ray imaging technique uses a contrast dye to visualize the coronary arteries and detect blockages. Treatment The most suitable treatment for CVDs depends on the specific type and severity of the condition. Treatment approaches often involve a combination of strategies. Lifestyle modifications, these form the cornerstone of managing CVDs. They include adopting a heart-healthy diet, regular physical activity, smoking cessation, and weight management. Medications, various medications can help control blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and blood sugar. Additionally, medications can prevent blood clots and regulate irregular heartbeats. Minimally invasive procedures, techniques like angioplasty and stenting can open blocked arteries without major surgery. During angioplasty, a balloon is inflated to widen the artery, and a stent, tiny mesh tube, may be inserted to keep it open. Surgery, bypass surgery might be necessary to reroute blood flow around blocked arteries in the heart. Valve replacement surgery repairs damaged heart valves to restore proper function. Prevention. The good news is that many CVDs are preventable through a healthy lifestyle. Here are some key steps to take charge of your heart health. Maintain a balanced diet, focus on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein while limiting unhealthy fats, sodium, and added sugar. Engage in regular exercise, aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise per week. Manage stress, chronic stress can contribute to CVD risk. Explore relaxation techniques like meditation or yoga to manage stress effectively. Maintain a healthy weight, obesity is a major risk factor for CVDs shedding excess weight can significantly improve your heart health. Control blood pressure and cholesterol, regularly monitor your blood pressure and cholesterol levels and take medications as prescribed by your doctor. Don't smoke. Smoking is a major risk factor for CVDs. Quitting smoking is one of the most impactful ways to improve your heart health. Limit alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol intake can raise blood pressure and increase your risk of heart problems. See your doctor regularly. Schedule regular checkups with your doctor to monitor your heart health and identify potential risk factors early on. Conclusion Cardiovascular diseases are a global health concern but with early detection, appropriate treatment, and a commitment to preventive measures, you can significantly reduce your risk and live a long, healthy life. If you have any concerns about your heart health, talk to your doctor. Early intervention is key to managing CVDs effectively and preventing complications.